This is Train Room Gary saying welcome to the Detroit Model Railroad Club. How to lay out ties for hand laid track. Right, we're at the Detroit Model Railroad Club. This is Cade's SD45. This is a scale two rail layout. Welcome to the uh, staging area at the Detroit Model Railroad Club. Tonight the guys are going to be laying out ties for hand laid track. Let's take a look and see how the process is done. Looks like there's two guys already down here ready to go to work. Hi, this is uh, Dave from the Detroit Model Railroad Club. He's the Vice President of the Club. And he's going to show us how they lay out uh, ties for the layout. Okay. Well, we start off with, we got three quarter inch plywood sub road bed. We lay out the center line of the track using the straight edges, pencils, and what have you, and uh, sweeps, which are big templates. And we've laid out the center line, the edge lines are where the ties will go. Okay, these are ties that we've cut from basswood lumber. We cut them out either on a table saw or radial arm saw. And we have these jigs we use to space the ties. As you can see, I'm laying them in the jig right now. We get a string of them that laid in the jig. Then we take masking tape and lay across the top of the ties, like so. Push it down good. And then we peel the tape back up and pick up the ties. Okay, here's a string of them that we've already done and we've rolled it up, but it kind of looks like a belt of machine gun ammunition and we glue them down while they're still attached to the tape. Now, when we go to put these down, we'll start by laying them upside down. We'll get a bottle of white glue or carpenter's glue, put a bead of glue in the bottom of every tie, and then I will take this strip, turn it over, lay it down on the upson board where the marks are, make sure they're pushed down tight, and let them dry for usually 24 hours. Then when they're down and dry, we can peel the tape off. The ties will continue to stick to the roadbed. Once the ties are down and the glue has set, we sand the top of them to make sure that the ties are all level and even. Then we take wood stain, and we stain the ties. We stain them after they've been sanded. Okay, once the stain is dried, then we take our ballast, which is uh, fine granules of rock, we buy it commercially. We mix it in a bowl with a mixture of white glue and water and a couple drops of detergent to act as a wetting agent and mix it up till it's about the consistency of oatmeal. And then we apply it with a trowel on the tracks like you see here. And we make sure that we get it off the tops of the ties. And again, we let it dry for usually 24 hours or more. And when it's dry, it becomes rock hard. The white glue be dries clear, becomes invisible. But the ballast is down to stay, and we don't have problems with it chunking off. Once we have the ballast down, the next step is to lay the rail. Uh, we solder a feeder wire on the bottom of every length of rail. Now, this is a short piece here. Normally, the rails are in three foot or six foot lengths. And we put one feeder wire, and we solder it to the bottom. We spot where it comes, where it has to go through the roadbed. We drill a hole through to feed the wire down, and we connect it below to power. Now we lay the rail on top of the ties, and we have to make sure that we get it the right distance. Okay, once we uh, get ready to put the rail down, we need to get it properly oriented on the ties. So when we put the second rail down, it, the rail is centered on the ties. 
So we lay the first rail, we have to measure carefully off the edge of the tie to the inside edge of the rail. We use two and a quarter inch long ties, the track gauge is one and a quarter inches, so that distance has to be exactly half an inch. And then we have miniature steel spikes, which we drive one at a time with a pair of needle nose pliers, and we spike the first rail down and double check to make sure that it's straight and oriented properly. Then using a track gauge, we gauge the second rail off the first rail and spike it down. We also make sure that the feeder wires are soldered to the bottom of the rail properly. The spot where they come through, the road bed drill a hole for them. Once we put them down, you don't see them. We don't, we don't solder the side of the rail. You also notice our rail is dark. We pre-paint the rail with uh, Rust-Oleum paint, since we use steel rail. And that gives it the dark color. The rail is normally a, a unpainted metal color. This is Train Room Gary saying thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate and comment, and cheers from Detroit and Mackinac Railway.